In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload products to your WebStart store using a CSV file. First thing you'll want to do is you'll want to start with that CSV file, which I have already prepared one. And you can see in my file, I've got three different products. Uh, this particular product has some variants. That's why you see these extra fields here. Uh, these are digital goods, no variants on those. Um, now, this file can be either an export from another existing uh, e-commerce platform, if you're moving from another platform. Uh, could be an export of the products within my store. Uh, could be created from scratch. Really all depends how you want to do it. But regardless of how you do it, you'll want to make sure to follow this file format that we provide in the help docs. Um, this is a uh, very brief description of what each field is, what that field is meant for, and the order in which it's to be created. Uh, if you want to see a real world example of that, you simply click here. And you can download that. And you can see that it's got a sample product, has some variants. Um, you can add to it, you can delete it. Uh, but that gives you a good idea of what that's supposed to look like in a real world example. Uh, if you don't format it accordingly, uh, when you upload it to the website, it will fail. So just keep that in mind. Now, back to the site. Let's go ahead and open that up. We'll open up the store. And we'll open up directly to the products. And you'll see that I have no products in here. And I'll click Import CSV. Choose this from my imports, which I believe is right here. And double click to upload. And as it's processing, you're going to get a preview. It'll show you the, the image that you have, if there's an image, the price, some options, uh, even the description. So it's pretty basic in terms of what it shows. But it gives you an idea of, hey, that's exactly what I want. Once you're happy with that, click import. And that will process importing the data to the database. Uh, keep in mind, this particular upload only has three products. It's going to be relatively quick. Uh, if you have hundreds or even thousands of products, it's going to take a little bit more time. So uh, as you upload that, keep that in mind. And once complete, you'll see all the products listed. And you can click to view those on a, in the live environment. It has all my options. I can click Add to Cart. And I can proceed uh, with a test purchase if I so choose. Now, uh, that's pretty cut and dry in terms of how you upload the products. The real trick there is to make sure that that CSV file is formatted correctly. Um, once you're there, you're, uh, you shouldn't have any issues getting that uploaded. Uh, another thing you can do, uh, if I want to go in and uh, edit, say I want to have all of these be $5 off or uh, I'm reducing the prices or changing shipping or or something that I want to do to all of my products at once. Uh, a neat way to do that is to export the file. Open that file up. And then either use find and replace or uh, make changes across the board. And let's say I want every one of these to be 100 bucks. Now granted, as I was saying, we're only dealing with three products. We're, it's not going to be that big of a deal to do that within the editor. Uh, so this is going to be more relevant to somebody with a thousand products that, that's making changes to a thousand products at a time. Um, and I'm just going to make that quick change, change everything to a hundred bucks. And I will click import CSV. Go to my downloads. And we'll re-upload that. And you can see the previews now show 100 bucks. Import. And now everything's 100 bucks. Now, again, I just made that simple change. I just had three products. So that was probably a few more steps than I needed to do for just these products. But that's a nice, uh, it's a nice feature available to somebody uh, that has thousands of products and want to make uh, a bunch of changes at once. Uh, using find and replace tools within CSV, uh, if you're f familiar with Excel or some other type of spreadsheet editor, uh, that can save you a lot of time as well. That'll about do it for importing products to your WebStart store. If you have any questions about this or the store in general, please be sure to contact our support team at support at webstarts.com. We would be happy to help out. Thank you.